Heart disease is our number one killer, and it kills more women than men. February is American Heart Month, and Friday is National Wear Red Day. And joining us now is Kate Bast, editor of Brava Magazine, but she's also someone who has heart disease in her family. So, Kate, heart disease affects you very personally. It does. It runs on both sides of my family. My maternal grandmother had two heart attacks and uh, was in heart failure. Uh, her son actually has heart health issues, and my father mm. has had arterial sclerosis in his early 40s, which I'm in my mid-40s, so that's top of mind for me right now with my own age. Uh, and then literally 10 years ago, almost exactly, February 15th, he had quadruple bypass. Oh my gosh. And yeah, and he, he's doing well and vigorous Good. and just fine today, but that is something in the back of my mind for my own health, even though I try to do things right. Right, so you have a healthy lifestyle, I but do. this is the thing that doctors want to get across is that women, men too, but uh, need to be very aware of their family history. Exactly. Yeah, you just need to keep that in mind and be aware. You need, when you go see your doctor, you need to make sure to have your numbers checked to know what they are so that you can adjust your eating and eat more healthfully. Right. And, you know, own your lifestyle, be active. Right. Yeah. Right. Let's, in fact, put up that graphic there right. because it's important to go through those. When you talk about the numbers, it's blood pressure, cholesterol, glucose. Mm -hmm. And when you say own your lifestyle, what do you mean by that? That means stop smoking mm -hmm. if you're a smoker. We know there's a big correlation there. Lose weight if you're overweight. We know that's hard to do, but it's important. And uh, be physically active and eat healthfully. Mm -hmm. And then raise your voice advocating for research and education. These are yeah, suggestions for more from the women Heart related research, sure. too. Since we know even in Wisconsin in 2012, cardiovascular disease was the number one killer of women. And wow. that's just in Wisconsin. Right. Um, the land of beer and cheese, right? right. So exactly. it, it is really important, you know, put word out there that it's important to you to know how these things affect women. And you got to make uh, your family aware, too. Uh, Teach your kids the importance of staying healthy and being active. Exactly, no. and most parents who have kids in Madison know mm -hmm. they're all doing jump, jump for heart right now, raising money for mm -hmm. heart health and um, heart research. Uh, and it's important, yeah, talk about why they should be active every day and why they should eat healthfully. And it's important for them now, especially you know, setting a good lifestyle for when they're adults, and then that's just how they live. Now, we want to point out that Brava Magazine's hosting a special event. It's mm -hmm. getting underway in just five minutes, yeah. and it's going to go until 7.30 tonight. What's this all about? Well, it's with the American Heart Association and UW Health. It is, we are going to light up downtown Madison Red. We're going right. to the Overture Center. It kicks off in just a couple minutes, and it's a good chance to come meet people who have dealt with heart health issues, educate yourself, have a little fun, Get your wear red pin, mm -hmm. your red dress pin, and um, just help bring heart health to the front of mind for people. And people could go right now and be down there and it'll still be going on. Exactly till 7 30. So right. come on down and, and join us for the fun. Great, Kate yeah. Bass. Thank you so much. And we want to remind you that Friday, February 6th, tomorrow, National Wear Red Day. So wear red, take a stand against heart disease. Even if it's just one of the red pins, let people know that you're aware and active in the fight against heart disease. For more information on Heart Month, National Wear Red Day, or Heart Health, go to the American Heart Association website. It's heart.org. We've got a link under news links at NBC15.com. Kate, thanks again. Thanks, we'll be back with the final check of the forecast after this.